And no! Where's my man? Go, baby. Undisputed. 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 Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers now. Happy Sunday to everybody out there. You know, I'm getting ready for my sixth day in the gym this week. You know, I feel like Conor Ben, you know, I'm crushing it in the gym, trying to get in the best shape of my life for nobody else but my damn self. So uh, yeah, really, really happy about, really excited about this workout today. But I wanted to, before I go to the gym, cause I'm, I'm just like literally right out, right out to the gym. I wanted to uh, give my thoughts on Devin Haney versus George Cambosa Jr. last night. Cause I had some time to digest and process what happened. And I gotta say, man, um, I think this is the video where, you know, when we talk about all these years where I haven't really been uh, all the way sold on Devin Haney, we talk about all the years where I maybe questioned if Devin Haney could get it done when the when the when when the fights became the biggest and the best and, and things would get tough for him. I think we I think now is that time for me to hum, humble myself, raise my hand, admit that Devin Haney was uh, better than I thought he was, and. Uh, Give him his flowers because to do what he did in on Australia last night, I know a lot of people, you know, may say it was a boring fight. And, and mind you, out of out of all the recent undisputed fights, this probably was the le least exciting when the fight actually took place. But a, a lot of that comes back to Devin Haney. You know, I, I don't think we should be blaming Devin or putting fault on him for the fight not being what it should have been. He showed his quality on the night. It was up to George to show his quality on the night, and 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 George failed to do that. George fa George failed to be the guy that he said he was. George failed to, um, ha you know, maintain the same level of a performance as champion as he did when he was challenger. And it's difficult to go from champion to chat from challenger to champion and remain champion. It's the hardest thing to do in boxing, and we keep seeing that time and time again, whether it be George Kambosos Jr. or one Josh Taylor. But uh, Devin Haney, man, no longer the email champion legitimate you know undisputed this has been a lifetime's uh, worth of work and i think it's time to give bill haney Devin, and their, their whole team their flowers this has been a lifetime's worth of work in the gyms in, in las vegas whether it be barry's boxing whether it be mayweather boxing club maybe whether it be johnny toko's uh wherever it may be usa national tournaments uh you know every they, they put a lot into this uh fights fighting in mexico you know Devin. if we can start from the beginning of Devin's career Devin uh, took some criticism for not joining the USA Olympic team when uh, he would have re represented Team USA and would have been the favorite to win a gold medal. And uh, he turned pro early, and, and he got he got a head start going to Mexico when he was young, and uh, really got introduced to the pro game at a very young age. His, his dad's done a great job, as I've said many times. They've been, they, they've been playing Russian roulette with these networks, you know. Um, Devin Haney is the only fighter at 135 that's fought on all the platforms. Uh, Showtime, he fought there when he was a prospect. Uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a contender as well, he fought on zone, And now as a, in, his, in his biggest and brightest moment, he's fighting on, on, on the worldwide leader in sports, ESPN. So, you know, they've shown that they're willing to go to any platform as far as like TV's concerned. They've also shown they're willing to go to any lengths, any country to win. So if there's one fighter that should never be questioned, if it's greatness, should never be called on the question, is, is Devin the Dream Haney. You know, um, I remember when I used to watch Devin Haney as a young kid, um, when like twenty, like twenty fourteen, when when not many people knew who he was, and he had his YouTube channel, Real Devin Haney TV. I remember so clearly when um, I used to watch these little. Uh, they would always edit these sparring clips of him at the middle of the gym beating the shit out of somebody that was uh, he was much better than. And honestly, not for nothing. I'm not trying to throw salt on George, but but. That's kind of what it felt like watching him last night. It felt like I was watching real Devin Haney TV and I was watching a video of a younger Devin Haney beating the shit out of somebody in sparring because that, that, that's what that was. Uh, I think there's a, there's a debate to be had in boxing right now. I mean, who has, a, a, of if Devin Haney has the best jab in boxing uh, because truthfully, he didn't really have to show his whole skill set against George. He really only beat George Campbell with 65 to 70 percent of what he could do and that's the most telling thing about the great performance from Devin is that he didn't have to use all of his tools to beat George he beat him with uh, a couple different variations of a jab uh, he beat him with an uppercut here and there 
uh, an okay right hand. But um, for all the talk of George willing to go to the trenches and willing to get in that kitchen and, and beat up on Devin, you know, we just didn't really see that that determination. We didn't see none of that from George. We we saw what we've seen many times in boxing, which is when an aggressive fighter fights a a pure master boxer like a Devin Haney or like a Floyd Mayweather or, 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 or like a Shakur Stevenson or like a Demetrius Andrade or guys like that. You know, we've seen the aggressive fighters punch out, put lower. And that's what happened in this fight. George was unable to get his feet set and, 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 and really get those shots out that he wanted to. And Devin Haney fought, wasn't, well, fought at a comfortable pace pretty much the whole fight. So much respect to him. I think now people should really start to give Devin Haney the appreciation he deserves because I don't care what you think about the performance. I know people are going to say he was they're going to say he was boring and all these kind of things. I know Ryan Garcia and Jojo Diaz came out and said the fight was bland and it was boring, but you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them because Devin Haney, this is his moment. This is um a, a remarkable achievement that he has self-actualized at the young age 23. I mean, there's been so many fighters throughout the history of boxing that had all the promise, had all the potential in the world, and didn't live up, didn't live up, to, uh, didn't accomplish anything. I mean, you think about when you think about some of boxing's great tragedies. You think about fighters like uh, the, the the old Detroit Kwong Jim fighter uh, Bernard Superbad Maze, who was a pretty much a mythological figure. I mean, there's a couple fights of Bernard Superbad Maze on YouTube, but this is a guy that got famous in the Kwong Jim because he used to beat up on Tommy Hearns so bad. That you know, Tommy Hearns they nearly quit boxing, but do we hear about Bernard Super Bad Maze? No, we don't. We heard about Tommy Hearns because Tommy Hearns persevered and didn't get caught up in bullshit. Um, Bernard Super Bad Maze, as great as a talent as he was, he never actualized his potential because he got caught up in a life of drugs and crime. And there's so many fighters in boxing that get caught up in, you know, a life of drugs, a life of crime. You know, uh, maybe 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 they take a loss and they weren't as good as advertised. But here we have a young kid. Speaks well, uh, comes from a great father, um, has been shown the willingness to fight on any, every network, in any country, under any circumstances, and he's gotten the job done under all things, uh, under all those circumstances against against all odds. So it's like, you know, I know the history of boxing. I know about all the great talented fighters that didn't self-actualize like Devin Haney did last night. So when you get a young kid like him who does self-actualize his potential, you definitely appreciate that moment and you tip your cap to him because um, it's not easy to do to go on there and do what he did last night. So um, I was wrong about Devin Haney. You know, he, he's proven his hype now. And, um, you know, he, right now, as far as I'm concerned, he's the guy to beat at 135. Um, you know, that's what it is. Got You got to be humble sometimes. You got to take your wins, like take your losses. Uh, Devin Haney is everything that, you know, Sean to tell. Shout out to him, my boy Sean to tell, who's uh, he's done a great job documenting the career of Devin Haney and giving people countless interviews over the years, along with De 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 uh, Devin, Bill, and all of Team Haney. He's been banging the drum the loudest out of everybody I know. Him and like H Money, those are the two that have been banging the drum the loudest for Devin Haney all these years. These guys have been uh, vindicated, and these guys have been proven correct. So uh, much respect to them. And their boxing knowledge and much respect to Devin Haney, his dad, who I think is a remarkable man who I've, who I've met and have great and have had great conversations with. And I love Bill Haney. I'm happy for him. I hope people start recognizing Bill for the great trainer that he is and, and, and respect Bill because Bill's not too arrogant to want to learn from other guys. That's why he's brought in guys like Yoel Judah and Ben Davison and, you know, uh, Mike McCallum over the years and Roy Jones and he's always like a sponge himself so um, learn from uh, most people don't know this but Bill Haney himself he learned how to coach from the great Al Mitchell and he told me that when I first interviewed him so you know just a this is a great day for boxing in America a great day for Devin Haney great day for um, you know anybody who loves the sweet science because Devin Haney went in there and he performed under the uh, circumstances and like I said when you, when you when you truly know the history of the sport and you know of all the great fighters and great talents that didn't self-actualize their potential when you finally see someone do it like a young Devin Haney you respect that moment you respect that young man and, and, and you give him his flowers because uh he's proven his merit and he's proven his hype so uh that's that's the new that's that's my little post our review video shout out to Devin Haney uh, George Campbell Jr. has a rematch, but we'll let that discuss for another video that I will have a lot to say about. But uh, this is all about this is all this, it's Devin Haney's time to shine. Uh, right now, the way it's going, it looks like he may be on track to become uh, the face of American boxing, uh, along with Shakur Stevenson. Maybe 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 that becomes a big fight down the line. But uh, you guys, let me know what you think about Devin Haney's performance last night. You know, uh, take the time to subscribe. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so everything's appreciated. I appreciate everybody who continues to tune in, support, comment, good or bad. 
Um, and yeah, like I say in every single one of these videos, I'm going to the gym now. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, thank take you care. for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care. And